Camshaft Chronicles. Uh, I guess this will be part three. And boy, Camry grinding is very tedious. Um, so I've only worked on one lobe, the intake, and only on one side. The other side is the plastic stock lobe, which seems to be doing okay. <clears throat> but right here at this turn, when I'm, I'm turning the engine, um, facing from the crankshaft side, I'm turning it counterclockwise. I don't know if that's how it runs. I, I honestly haven't checked. I'll have to go down and look at my um, pull starter, but hopefully it is. But for this, it won't matter too much. But turning it counterclockwise, this will be the intake stroke. It's coming open too early. I want it to start opening. I want it to be open at, like, there. That's where I want it open, top dead center. And it is at its maximum opening right now. And then it starts to come back down. It closes a little bit. I would rather it be a drop-off close than a slow, gradual open. But um, then this is the stock one. It came with it. Nice lift. Comes down. I think I'm going to leave the stock one relatively alone. Here's mine again. So what I need to do is get it to open a little bit slower. So I need it to I need to grind some more off and I've no actually this is not this is the um stock one mine. I'm confused here. This is my lobe. See the I don't know if you can see that the the bad looking uh you know what? This is my lobe. You can see it's all kind of messed up. That's the stock lobe. We just went over the stock lobe. So, this is how my lobe opens. We get to about here. Stays open. So I want a little bit more lift because it, it opens fine at the right time on this side, but it won't stay open. It's, it's not high enough. I mean, that's not a lot of lift relative to the stock one that lifts that. And just to show you how the valve seat were 45 psi. Then that's, I wish I could turn it over and do this, but so open her up. So that's wide open, and we're not even top dead center yet. Then keep going. This is it's almost closed. We're just about to reach top bo or dead bottom here. But it's still open enough to let a good flow of air out and then this is with it closed right here. You can see there's still lots of leakage. The noise is coming from here. And here. So, there is a couple bubbles. So anyway, I'm sick of pulling this thing out and regrinding it. And um, I think what I'm going to do is call it quits for the day. So I've been working on a, it's this lobe by the way, see. It's opening at the right time, it just doesn't have enough lips, lift, so I might try to build that up a bit more. And then, another thing I did is I had to fit them, which my lobes originally kind of just flowed out into the middle, and you have to grind them down to where they only go where the other ones do, because your connecting rod right here, this bolt right there hits it. So, and these are my timing marks. If I'm putting it in with both valves... I line this mark, no, if I'm putting it in to run, I line this mark up, this blue tooth, in with my little, I, I ground a little slit in that tooth and put, colored it blue. So I know that blue won't survive, but the slit will. So these two line up. Now if I'm doing, if I'm, it's hard to get it in there with the lobes pushing down on the, uh, lifters yes lobes pushing up on the lifters I should say so 
I simply put it, timed it without the cam in there. No, without the lifters in there, excuse me. And when I turned it over, a one revolution of the crankshaft, one fourth revolution of this, it got all the lobes out of the way so I could slip it in, mark it there, and then that lets me put it in and out easily without dealing with the lobes. But she is coming along. Oh, that was bad. I'm glad that wasn't my iPod. Is coming along. Gotta do some more cam shaft grinding. Great stuff about this quick steel. It sets so fast. Like, I don't feel like I have to go ahead and get it done because I'm waiting on epoxy for seven years. It really does do it fast. Got it turning over good, though. Anyhow. Um... My valve still leaks horribly. YouTube, you're supposed to answer my question. But, yep. Because this would be my throttle. This is, um, this is off. This is, this screws in, actually, but there's a little bend in the shaft here, and it doesn't like it. Anyway, this would be full. And then, if you don't already know, this is the concept design steam engine. So, on this end right here, I have a big truck rim sitting. goes all the way around it. And the engine, the, the engine only sticks out about from here. So, really, the only thing sticking out is the flywheel. So, out of this big rim, I have just a flywheel basically sticking out. Now, how I'm going to do that, hopefully, is I'm going to use that... And I had the back, the crankcase cover, under the house. So what I'll do is I'll put the cover back on, and hopefully this was a lawnmower, not a rototiller engine. So it's it's um, not it, it's vertical shaft. So I'm going to have to make a mount that curves, makes a 90. I don't know. I'll probably got some nice thick steel laying around. Not a lot. Plenty of thinner gauge stuff. And a lot of brake pads, which have a good little bit of metal on them. I sometimes will use them. But, um, yeah, so that's about it. Camshaft Chronicles.